What's up, YouTube? XO back. I'm uh, here to do part two. I'm going to go over the range generals of kind of the lower gear setup on what you should be using. Um, and so I've I've got a couple different setups like I did in the Siege. Um, I'm going to do um, kind of, you know, the top, top of the line, how you should, you know, how a lot of people, if you can afford the gear to do, and then, you know, middle of the way of, if you've got a few pieces of sieve gear, and then um, if you have no sieve gear, what you should be running. Um, and then use promo code Ebony06 for Aptoid if you're, if you're planning a coin. Um, you can get up to 25% back. Some days it's 26, as I get 6% days on some days with my code. Um, June 26th is the next special event. Uh, they haven't told me the percentage. It'll either be 5 or 10%. Um, and, yep, we'll just jump right into this. Um, we'll start off with a big, big one first. Um, if your coining can afford it, um, obviously the big piece is the planogenic bow. Um, this is the must-have. It's 95% range attack the next piece is planning genic armor for the 35 percent range attack um, you also get the set bonus of 15 percent next piece is freedom hero boots you get 35 percent uh, range attack also 35 percent mark speed um, to go to pair with this you want to do the freedom legs you get 15 percent um, range attack, but you also get 30% um, range troop defense plus all, fifth, all troops 15%, and then you get the attacking siege machine and range troop attack 25% from set bonus. Ring, you want to run the planogenic ring. This is the best ring. I believe this is when no, no uh, extra stars, this is 35% range attack and 15% mark size. So, Planning Jink Bow and Ring for sure are the two big pieces you want to get that set bonus. And you could go without the armor. Um, the next thing is the Boss Helmet. This is 40% range troop attack. Um, it's a really good helmet. The other helmet to use would be the Hans Dynasty Helmet. Uh, let's see. You can see here. It's got 25% range troop attack and HP. So if you don't have the boss, you can use the Hans helmet. Also, if you're not running, like, if you don't have the planet genic armor, you could use, I believe it's the Ares. I'm going to pause one second. I'm going to grab it. And... All right, yeah, if you if you don't have the planet genic armor, you could run this courageous um, Ares to get you range troop HP. Or you could run um, Craig just Ackerman a day to get uh, just a set bonus, essentially. For the legs, um, I think the legs you would use probably the Craig just Aries. Yep. The Craig just Aries is how you'd use the, for the legs if you don't have the Freedom legs. That way you can get... Um, the range troop defense. All right, that's just a couple different ways. But like I said, you Paul screenshot this. This is the best one of the best setup right now um, that I use. Uh, there could be with all this new Civ gear. Um, this set, the Sassanian and Thebes. I've heard this Thebes sword is really good. But obviously, I don't have it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on something I don't have and I don't use. So, this is just what I use. Um, last night in Battlefield, this setup, um, I tested my buffs and I was just, just over 2,300 percent. So, and I'm not maxed Military Academy either. I still got a lot of percent left in there. So, this is a pretty good setup.
Also, it's not the best range general anymore. Anyways, on to kind of the lower tier. Um, if you were just trying to do Aries and um, no Aries and Ackerman today, this is kind of how the setup would be. Aries bow, fearless Aries helmet. They both have range troop attack. And then courageous. Um, not sure why I did this one early on, but courageous Sacramento day armor. Courageous Sacramento day legs for the range troop attack. Fearless Sacramento day boots for the um, range troop HP. And fearless Sacramento day ring for the range troop attack. Actually, this could be, this should be swapped because the set bonus does nothing. So you could swap this to the Ares piece, chest piece that we talked about. That'd be a better setup. Um, I'll show this. This was kind of my, um, back in the day, this is very old. This was pre-K40. This was um, what I called the gear Bible. A lot of people wanted no gear, so we I just kind of wrote a lot of stuff down. And this is this is how I had it set up. So you can pause, take a screenshot of this, and see what see what you need. Now, if you've um, kind of spent a little bit, you can change some of this up and do something like this. If I can click the button. Um, if you have some ferric chests laying around, you could do something like this with the Thebes. You know, you run the 222 two, two, um, and run the Thebes. I like the Thebes because it's uh, range attack and HP on the legs. Also, the Thebes Bracer, range attack and mark size. You could also, if you don't have Thebes, oh, where's you don't have the Thebes gear, you could run, say, um, let me pause and I'll put it, I'll put it all on a general so it makes sense. All right. If you only have like a couple of cheap pieces, you could run this. You could run the Aries bow, Aries helm, which is any Ackerman day chest, uh, and then Ackerman day legs, and then get your 10% set bonus. And then you could run your freedom boots, um, and Plenty of genic ring, or another way too is you could swap uh, to the Han Dynasty helmet or the Boss helmet. If you have three pieces of Civ, this is a little bit better because it's forty percent marksing range troop attack compared to twenty two percent plus fifteen percent um, set bonus. That'd be thirty seven. So with a Boss like this, you'd get a little bit extra percentage. Um, personally, if you're not running, uh, if you're not coining to get it, this would probably be the best setup. Um, you can get the cheap pieces pretty easily and the cake for is pretty cheap. So you could do one cake a month and have this set up in a couple months. You could also do, if you want to do the new set of thebes if you like the thebes bracers better you could put the thebes bracers on uh, the freedom boots and then you could even do like the thebes armor and kind of have a setup like this um, there's a couple different ways to do it personally this is how i run mine two two and two um so that's this is just how i'm going to stick to mine um i think this this Edward, how it sits, is in the mid-1850s range attack. That's on server and battlefield. He's like over 2,000. Um, so, don't necessarily need a planigenic bow and all full gear to get, you know, break 2,000. You can do it without it. It certainly helps to have the stuff, but if you're not spending, if you don't have the money to spend, you know, seven grand to buy the the big pieces then this is kind of how you do it um but yeah there's a lot of ways to do it um this is just a few um this is my preferred method right here for the kind of middle tier got a couple extra pieces laying around 
Um, and then, like I said, once again, this is how I run my big uh, general. So, yep, I'll catch y'all later. And on the next one, we'll bring uh, mounted in on the next one and knock that one out. See ya.